Hello everyone, welcome back to the SN Commerce Programming in .NET. In this video, we will discuss about the written types of the asynchronous method in the C Sharp. Means when we are going to use asynchronous programming using the async and wait, then how many type of the written type can be in this method so that we are going to discuss. So basically, if we talk about the written type of the asynchronous function, then it can be like it can they can return the void. They can return the task and even they can return the task for a generic like for an example if we want to return the task for the integer or the uh, like any other data type so that we are going to discuss in this video so let's go to the visual studio and in this visual studio what i have done i created a one form and here you can see it is a list box and this is the button and basically like on this button click what we will do whatever the operation we are doing means uh, like the operation we are doing that we will add into this list so on the button click we will do the operation so let's implement that one so what we will do we will uh, create a one method and that method will basically execute a task operation and based on that we will perform a sync and await and basically if we have seen in the previous video like a sync and await uh, should be used in one method only so let's start doing that operation so first create a one method and this method name i'm going to give a processing so basically what we are doing it this method is written the task and here you can see like uh, some operation it is happening and that we are saying like it is uh, taking five seconds to perform that operation so this is the method and basically it's a static method which is doing some operation now what we will do we will call this method from another method so that method name we will give as a call process and here you can see since we are using this method as a async and await so await means this method will wait to perform this operation and here you can see like this method we have put the await once this like this process will complete then it will go to the this next line means it will add into the list box so that operation we are doing now this method we will call from button one so once we click on this button what we will do we will add list box one dot items dot add so i will say this is void return type since we can see this call process method is returning the void that's why we can say this is the void method and now we will say list box one dot items dot add and in this we will say button operation is completed so what we have done so far like we created a one method that that is doing some operation now this method we want to put as a asynchronous manner like we want like this logic should printed with the asynchronous way so how we have done this one we have we are calling that method using the call process and this method we have done asynchronously and this method is calling as a asynchronously and you can see it from here and this method is returning void and based on that we are doing this operation now let's run this application so once i will run this application we will see a list box and the button on the screen and here you can see currently it is empty so once i click on this button you can see this is a void return type and button operation is completed since it is not in this asynchronous me asynchronous method that's why it is saying like this button operation is completed because it is going on the different thread and this is the different thread that process is going now here you can see like uh, this uh, we can see like a button operation is completed and call uh, process um, finished because once the, after the five second like this is printing so this is the way like we can see like this method is working as asynchronously and we are doing the operation and if you want like particular this method should be like executed once this call process method complete their execution so we have what we have to do we have to make this method as a async method and here what i have done i have written the async now and to make it like what we have to do we have to use the await keyword and now since it will give the error because this method should return something 
so now like currently it is returning void so what we have to return we have to return it the task once i will run this application now we can see like this uh, will go on the different thread so once i will click on this button we can see this is void return type now first this call process will finish will um, print and then we can see the button operation completed is printing so in that way what we can do we can add the multiple uh, async and await and we can perform the operation now next is the method which return the task so like so from here what we are doing basically we from this method we are returning the task and we are doing the operation so in that manner we can do this one now next thing like if any generic we want to return from a method so what changes we have to do so let's make those changes here so let's make those changes and for that one what we have to do we have to replace these two with some code and here you can see now this task is returning basically the string and from here you can see like i have written this one now this async wait like we are calling from the processing and after that whatever the return type will be from here what we are doing we are taking one variable and then we are adding into this one now since it is giving error because here it is currently returning the void so what we have to make it we have to make it the task now this is returning the uh, like this particular text so when i will click on this button so first of all like this list will print this is a void okay let's make it this is task generic return type so now when i will run this application so first of all it will print this message this one and then what it will do it will print this message because it is returning and we are taking into a one variable and then it will print and after that it will print this one so let's uh, see the order of the uh, result we we are expecting same or not and we can see like it is expecting as per our understanding so this is the way what we can do we can make our asynchronous programming as per our uh, like understanding of the or the pro flow of the program so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you